हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बी सिंह चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर मेडीजी ग्रुप एंड यू आर वाचिंग ए वीडियो ऑन पोस्ट गेट अपॉर्चुनिटीज आफ्टर द गेट रिजल्ट एवरीवन वांट्स टू नो व्हाट आर द चांसेस ऑफ एडमिशन इन एम टेक शुड आई गो इन पी एस यूज और शुड आई चूज द मास्टर्स फ्रॉम आई आई टी आई एस सी इन केस यू डिसाइड टू गो इन मास्टर्स वट आर द अपॉर्चुनिटीज आफ्टर एम टेक वट काइंड ऑफ द प्लेसमेंट वट फ्यूचर पैकेजेज यू विल गेट for the discussion on all these aspects we have today all the experts from related fields mr dk arora arora ji is a psu expert and uh, he provides the guidance for the public sector exams from adg mr sarfaraz will talk about the nit's cut off expected scores what are the process of selection and mr chirag manwani who is doing mtech from iit delhi in computer science engineering will speak about the selection process in iits and the other related colleges and the various kind of the courses which are available for the computer science engineers so let me begin uh, chirag first from you you completed uh, you are still doing your mtech from yes. iit delhi yes. so what are the courses available in iits and what is your opinion iit bombay then isc and iit delhi what is your preference order in selection okay um, first i'm going to start up with the preference order that most of the candidates have regarding iits so most of the people who secure ranks under 100 opt right. for iit bombay okay. and some of them also go for opt for iic bangalore right and then onwards it's a it's a mixed opinion between iit delhi kanpur and kharagpur okay and madras of course right so these six are the top choices for all the candidates who oh, secure and score good rank yeah, yeah. Mm. and uh, uh secondly i'm going to talk about the cutoffs regarding all the iits mm. so iit bombay and i see bangalore iit madras iit kharagpur if these... if i take one by one in iit bombay what is the process of selection okay. they they take interview or they conduct this separate okay, written so, or directly based on gate yeah, score they do they, uh, they do both of these things for there are actually uh, two courses mtech ta and mtech ra ta stands for teaching assistant and right. ra stands for research assistant. assistant so iit bombay only offers direct admissions for tas TA. and uh, for ras which is a three year program hmm. they call uh, i think up to 350 uh, students up to 350, 350 rank, rank and they call them for interviews okay and there's a written test and there's a programming test and then there's a interview okay. this is the standard procedure which uh, almost every iit follows if they decide to call the student for interview so ta is better or ra is better well uh, the course structure is the same mm. the ra program is a bit more relaxed mm. in the it takes 3 years and yeah, ta is 2 years yeah it takes 3 years but the credit requirement for both the courses is equal that okay. is they have to do uh, fulfill the same number of credits in okay. both ta and ra it's just a more relaxed program they can focus more on their uh research if they actually want to go into research okay. then they can focus more on that okay and what about the isc bangalore what are the courses available okay so there are uh, two courses the most popular one is uh, from by the csa department of uh, isc yeah uh, it offers <clears throat> the computer science and automation department it's a uh, normal mtech csa uh, the cutoffs for isc bangalore are i think under 100 okay the, the same 100. yeah same same as iit bombay parallel yeah i think the last uh, score the gate score which got admission was last year was 894 and before that was 881 so if you expect if you have a score of 900 or above you can easily expect to get admission into iit bombay or i see yeah i see bangalore and what about in iit delhi when you took admission uh, it was on the basis of direct admission or you faced interview yeah again every iit has its own way of admitting students iit delhi has a a different system so anyone who scores above 900 they offer them direct admissions which usually does not uh, no student offs so that because they go mm. for iit bombay and isc mm. and uh, students having up to uh, from 800 to 900 gate score mm. they get uh, they are called for interviews okay so uh, and there's also a cgpa requirement right. for that i think it's uh, seven cgpa uh, 6.5 and above uh, for the interview That's qualifying for yeah. or 60% minimum uh, btech percentage uh, uh, one of these these two yeah, yeah. no these two require if you have a gate score above 800 then you and okay. you should have a cgpa both the, for, uh, for direct admission it is uh, 7.5 cgpa I, i don't think there's a requirement for direct admission it's just that you have to have a score of 900 plus 
I think it has to be checked. Uh, what okay. I, I have seen that okay. there is a minimum CGPA 7.5. Okay. Maybe. Right. There, no, there actually, a, for that, that interview, there is 800. They call then and CGPA. And plus 7.5. Not for direct admissions, right? Not. Uh, this is for the interview process. Only for the interviews. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, next we talk about the uh, courses in IIT and the placements and the companies and the packages. What kind of the packages are available? Okay. So, um, each IIT has its own, the courses are basically distributed into program course, program electives and open electives and then projects. So, right. IIT Delhi has three program course, algorithms, uh, al uh, data, advanced algorithms and data structures. Then there's a course on uh, software systems and then another is um, logic and uh, function okay. programming. So these three are program core at IIT Delhi. Right. These are not necessarily applicable for each of the IITs since IIT Bombay only has one program elective, program core which has to be completed necessarily has to be mm -hmm. taken which is Software mm -hmm. Systems Lab. After that, you are free to join, take any course that is being offered in the okay. bio department as program. You just have to fulfill your requirement for program course, program electives, open electives and project. I guess uh, half of the credit requirements that you have to fulfill have to be fulfilled through the thesis or MTech project. Okay. For example, I have around 48 credits to complete at IIT Delhi. 24 of them have to be completed through a project or thesis. Okay. And uh, regarding regarding all the other subjects, uh, you have, okay, I can give you a few examples. For example, uh, this semester, uh, numerical algorithms is a subject being offered, which I'm taking. Machine learning is one of them. Last semester, artificial intelligence was being offered. And there are a number of other courses which are offered each semester. Right. And uh, when we talk about the placements and packages after the completing courses, what are the range of placements? I think in uh, CSE, every IIT has a... I think minimum placement of I think 15 LPA it goes even above that most of the companies that offer domestic packages have a higher limit of around I think 40 to 50 that's the cap okay. yeah and uh, average package I would guess it's above 20 okay so that's good opportunity that is why once you go for the masters when you go directly after BTEC your packages may be in the range of 7 8 9 10 and when you complete masters you are average uh, around 20 or other. Uh, NITs is the second preference up in case students are not getting called for. Among the all NITs, what are the expected cutoffs? Sarfraj, what are your uh, finding and last year cutoffs 2018? Okay, sir. So, first seven to eight NITs like Warangal, Trichy, Suratkal, Raul Kila, Allahabad, Kalikat, Surat, these are the top NITs preference that is student preferred. Okay. And out of that, if you talk about a specific Warangal, mm. the category of, uh, on the general basis, they have opted 794 to 759. Mm. In the first round, they have... Uh, 794 cut off? And the third round... And third round, 759. 759. And then there must be the spot round as well. Yeah, spot round as well. So, same as uh, almost the uh, NIT 3G, mm. 767 to 747. I'm talking about the general category. So, for general, we see if you want to get a good NIT, at least 700 plus your score is required. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, 5 to... Uh, and if you want to go for IIT, 800 plus is required. So 700 to 800. Of course, there are some IITs like IIT. Uh, I think, uh, I think uh, the cutoff for IIT Kharagpur was 770. Hmm. For I IIT Kharagpur also offers like direct admissions only. Okay. And IIT Madras also does that. Right. Uh, okay. So in 2018, the last admission that IIT Madras offered was at score mm -hmm. 770 for general mm -hmm. category, and uh, in 17 it was 800. So it kind of fluctuates yeah i see the uh, like iit kharagpur and even an iit kanpur interview college at 725 okay so yeah iit kanpur is a very good opportunity for students who were not able to Get score that score. well because it, it uh, as 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 you can see from uh, the previous year cut off yeah cut off for interview calls it's uh, it's 725 so a lot of people are called for interviews i think approximately 400 500 people are called by iit kanpur each year Hmm. And they get a second chance. They get a written test and then a programming test. Right. Uh, an interview may follow, but okay. in my year, that wasn't the case. Okay. So, some of the IITs like IIT Hyderabad, IIT Kanpur, IIT Guwahati, IIT Kharagpur, they uh, call you at even a score less than 800, maybe 725, 750. You need to take a chance and you need to apply. 
and uh, same is the scenario when you want to apply for Warangal, NIT Warangal, Trichy, for Furatkal, or Kela, or 700 plus a score, you may get a chance of admission. Right. For this is for the general category and obviously for OBC little lower and for SCST further lower cutoffs are going down. Medigy will release the last year's cutoff uh, list which will be available to you once the result is announced. When uh, we see the placements from NITs and placement from an IITs, what is the basic difference in the placement? What are the advantages from IIT? Uh, I'll take your opinion Chirag on it. Okay, so I'm not aware of uh, NITs. NITs, but I can say about IITs, uh, the first two days are quite hectic and most of the students, in I can I can only talk about the placements for CSE right now, not okay. talking about other branches. So most of these students, they take the placement or they prefer going PhD and higher studies? For BTECs, I think uh, around 20 to 30 percent will opt for higher studies. Most mm -hmm. of them will actually take a placement and then decide later on whether they okay. want to continue the studies or, not. you know, yeah. And most of the M techs, I think they take placements. Okay. Most of the M tech students. And placement wise, Bombay is one of the preferred colleges. I, I think know. I think it does not in 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 terms of the old six I five IITs and one ISC. Mm -hmm. It actually does not matter where you are because you are. all of them a number of companies come for CSE. CSE okay. is highly soft a sought after branch. Right. That's why. Uh, Arora ji, coming to you for the computer science students opportunities in the public sectors what are the PSUs because this is a branch which has high demand in industry and PSUs uh, have limited opportunity for limited CSU opportunities students. for computer science graduates high demand from private sector but uh, relatively less demand from uh, public sectors yes we do have recruitments regularly by BARC mm -hmm. That's uh, research. Then uh, IOCL regularly recruits computer right. science graduates. ONGC also. Sale and ONGC. These right. are the regular recruiters. Right. And NTPC and SPCL. They are on and off. They are on and off. Yes. So when we talk about the um, PSUs, get a scorecard and then what is the weightage yes. of interview? BARC, it's only get scorecard for, uh, for the interview invitation. And after that, 100% weightage is for the interview only. Okay. When we talk about ONGC, we have weightage of gate only 60%. Then there is uh, 20 marks for your BTEC, 5 marks in case you complete your PhD in the related discipline, mm. and then 15 marks for uh, interview. Okay. And in interview, what they ask exactly which areas? Technical or interview something? Interview is a mix. Interview mm. is a mix. If, you're, if your gate rank is really very high, they tend to go less on technical questions and focus more on the personality aspects. But if your gate, gate score is on a kind of a border, then there can be a little more on uh, technical questions and less on the non-technical. Okay. But it's a mix. But, but when we compare, as the Chirag is telling, the placements average out of more than 20 lakhs. And in PSUs, we talk about 10 lakhs, 8 lakhs, 12 lakhs. Sir, IOCL and uh, ONGC are almost touching the 18 lakhs okay. figure now. Okay. After the recent revisions have taken place. All right. And work environment is fairly, fairly. Triple IITs as compared to NITs, where you rate, uh, what is Sarfraj your finding on triple IITs? Sir, so, triple IIT is, uh, is one of the choice that is student prefer over the NITs, mm. uh, like uh, triple IIT Bangalore, mm. triple IIT Allahabad. So these are the triple IITs which is student prefer. Prefer. Triple IIT Bangalore, uh, Arora ji, you were yes. talking about the placements of Triple IIT Bangalore. Bangalore has placements almost matching the placement levels of IITs, mm -hmm. but primarily because of the prime mover that is the uh, founder director of uh, uh, Triple IIT Bangalore. Yes, okay. very strong inter uh, networking with the industry mm -hmm. is probably the reason for. There are every year part. some students who do not get good score. Yes, and uh, what are the opportunities for them? If they want to pursue their MTech, which are the colleges which they can get? Any idea? Chirag, do you have any idea? I think uh, they should not opt any college below, below, NITs. The, below NITs because not I don't think there is NITs. no chance of placement or maybe rare chance of placement. There is one exception I would like to add here. Mm -hmm. That is the Bits Pilani. 
Okay, so Chirag, what is the study environment in uh, computer science department in IIT Delhi? Do you have any plan of writing civil services in future? No, actually, no. I wanna <laughs> yes, I wanna remain in the technical field. But uh, since you asked me this, I think the kind of studies that uh, people have in other colleges, not from the people who are not from IITs, hmm. they have it somewhat easy. And as soon as you come to into the IIT. curriculum or plan or whatever environment whatever you want to call it there's a sudden change of pace uh, people students basically they have <laughs> they have problem because the pace is too high and they have a problem setting into the environment they have a problem you know matching the pace so i think uh, if people who have got gotten good scores and are pretty sure that they're going to get some of some of the other iits i think you should brush up on your uh, Okay. basics, basics. Yeah. yeah because most of the subjects that uh, you might want to study after coming here are basically prerequisites for uh, other advanced courses for example i'm not sure if anybody has uh, studied studied linear algebra or uh, probability and statistics on a higher level but i'll advise you to do the same because they are treated as prerequisites and you are expected to know them before coming to iit and you might lag behind covering up uh, previous material and you know just You just okay. miss out on the train, right? So this was the discussion um, by the panel uh, on May the board for the post gate opportunities for the computer science engineers. Once the result is announced, we will uh, conduct the post gate counseling session. Those who will opt for the public sector uh, interviews and they will get the call. We will conduct the PSU guidance where the group discussion, group task, personality, current related certain topics will be discussed. And if you want any support from us, we will be eager to help you, guide you. In case you are looking forward for your preparation for civil services, the next IAS, which is an initiative of May DG Group, will definitely help you in that field. right so thank you chirag uh, thank you sarfraz and thank you arora ji for our discussion i hope this discussion will be useful to the students and the last before we wind up do you have any idea to share anything with the students anyone uh all apart done? from no apart from the, you might you take this after giving the gate everybody wants to you know relax because right. again but take that relaxation they only take a break for like one or two weeks and then get back to it as i said before because otherwise right. you know get off it is a never ending process <laughs> yeah. you have to be on every time yeah. you have to someone uh, to really brush up yes, the programming if, if you are yeah. uh, planning to take admission in iit start brushing your subjects because in interviews you will face uh, you have to answer the technical yeah, questions yeah the interviews as well you right thank you everyone